Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can blend audio in Final Cut Pro. It's time for the remix. Now I'm gonna share with you how to blend audio using different crossfade tools within Final Cut Pro. Then we're gonna use that tool to blend some music tracks, speaking clips and background noise. And as a fun bonus, we're gonna take a music track, we're gonna shorten it and lengthen it using the same techniques. Let's check it out. We're gonna take a look at these, uh, this audio here. Let's play it back. Very nice, very nice. Ooh. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a crossfade. Now sometimes you may want that effect, but today, no, we wanna, we wanna make that fade nicely together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here to this feature called expand audio. So we're gonna expand the audio there. There is a shortcut for that, which is control S, which will also collapse the audio. It is tethered to that clip still. Uh, we can create some J and L cuts. So I'm gonna drag this over. That has just created an L cut. And we're gonna drag the other one that has created a J cut. So basically it has caused the clips to overlap. So when we play that back, um, so I'm gonna fade that a little bit more, cross those over a bit more. And then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take this and drag these volume control points because it still wasn't quite what I wanted to hear. So if we play this back, <laughs> much nicer. Now we can take this a step farther and make a few more adjustments. We'll right click on that volume control point. Usually what is recommended is to do the S curve, which creates a nice gradual, very pleasing to the ears uh, fade. So one of the ways we can do this faster is with a simple cross dissolve transition. Let's play that back. Very nice, very smooth. It blended the audio as well as the video. Now you may like that, you may not. If you don't like that, here is a, another solution for you. Let's take that out of there, Control Z. And instead, we're gonna grab both clips, then we're gonna go up to Modify, Adjust Audio Fades, and Crossfade. So let's listen to that. Now it was slight, so let's, do control S, see right here, it barely moved these clips. So from here, if you wanted to, you could then drag and adjust, but you're wanting this to be quick, right? We're gonna go to Final Cut Pro, menu, preferences, editing, and right here, this crossfade is way too short. I'm gonna hit the one for one second, let's close out of that, highlight these, option T, will get you the same crossfade. Look at that. We had the audio already expanded so you can see what it's done. Beautiful. So that's the quickest way to just blend two clips together. All right, now we're gonna use clips with a speaker. So we've got me talking here, this handsome guy. Now listen to this. So while that's not terrible, we can improve that transition. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take, take both these clips, Control S, we've got that expanded audio view now. We can take each of those clips and scale it back some, create those J and L cuts, add this transition. A little bit of a fade. Make sure those are on S curve, yep. Yes. So we got that nice blend, more of a subtle change rather than that abrupt, like popping sound. Very nice. All right, so just like before, we're gonna highlight both of these. We're gonna hit option T. And look at that. We already have our preferences set for one second. And let's listen to this. Beautiful. If you're finding this helpful so far, just know we release new content all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Stupid Raisins tutorials blend well with subscriptions. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notified when we release our next video. All right, now we're gonna look at some audio tracks, specifically some music tracks here. So we've got these two songs. One's uh, 
kind of a heavier, heavier country rock track, and then a very electronic. I'm gonna give this a little bit of space here. Give that one a little bit of space. Let's bring them in and drop this cross dissolve on them. Let's expand that out a bit. Now let's listen. Pretty nice, but not perfect. And, and maybe you're wanting to find a natural ending point where you can transition from one song to the next. I'm, I'm gonna try that out with this one here. Now, I noticed on this electronic one, it had a nice hit right here. So what I like to do with these is I, I like to drop these markers. You just tap the M key and let's find a hit on this track. Mark that, and we're gonna drag these over each other. That Those markers help them sync up, line up. Bring this over, bring this over. Let's try fading that to see if I got close enough to where that's gonna work. It was pretty close. Okay, so there might be a case where you've been tasked with lengthening a song. Maybe it's a slideshow and there are 1,500 pictures and you need to extend a song for 25 minutes. So one way to do that, uh, let's take a look at this track. So it's really fun. And then here it drops, comes back in. And you'll see that moment happens a few more times. And a little bit of deja vu. All right, so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit duplicate this track. We're gonna hit hold option, drag it, and let's cut this up a bit. We'll blade, do a blade right here and right here. And now we can drag these clips over one another. And what I like to do is kind of overlap them a little bit. Let's set one of the markers right on the bottom track and make sure that top one is right on it. And a way to tell if you got it lined up right is you listen to it. And if that, if the beats are hitting on point, pretty close. I feel like we might be off just a smidgen. So let's take, ooh, yeah, let's take this even closer. I think I got it. We're gonna do a crossfade right here. We're gonna drag this that way and drag this one this way. Change it to an S curve like we did earlier. All right, now let's check it out. Okay, that worked really great. And what we just did is we took that song and brought it up to six and a half minutes. And you can keep repeating that as needed. Let's say you've got a wonderful track, but you, you gotta fit it in like 30 seconds. It's nice. I wanna take the beginning, the end, and then find something fun in the middle and combine those together to create a new 30, 45 second clip. So the first thing I'm gonna do is come over to this appearance, these appearance options here. I'm gonna change the display option to show more waveforms. That way we can see more of what's going on here. Let's zoom in on this. All right, so I like right there where it, where it hits and starts a new new melody right there. So I'm going to cut that and find that part again in the song. And that might be it right there. Let's bring those together. It's close. Overlap those a bit. Find that spot. Yep, see we're just slightly off here. All right, so that's pretty nice. Let's bring this fade right here and try this out. So that right when this hits, not too shabby. Let's change that to an S curve though. S curve, curvy tracks, man. All right, that sounds pretty good with those S curves in there. All right, so that sounds good. Let's move forward a little bit. I like where that ends right there. So let's grab this. We're gonna find the ending. The 
end of the track right there. Let's cut that. All right, so we're bringing this ending clip here. And we're just trying a few different ways to find a good ending spot. What I'm noticing is there's this one sound that I keep hearing. That same -na 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 -na. Forget my singing. <laughs> it sounds like it's happening right there. I want to say it starts there in this track. Let's listen. Close. Let's bring that back over. All right, now let's try to blend these together. Now that we know it's matching up. Ooh, I think we got it. Let's add the S curves and zoom out a bit and play it again. So it sounds great. Let's listen to those again. And the other one. Great. Now that you've learned how to blend audio in Final Cut Pro, I've made another video about how to draw lines in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.